Ah, here comes my queen. Ah, Catherine of Aragon. Yes. Most, most handsome woman. I think she has some hair on her top lip. Really? I've never noticed, honestly. No, I can feel it when I kiss her. It's almost as if she Don't has... Don't say whiskers. <laughs> keep going, keep going. I only have eyes for Anne Boleyn. She has me spellbound. But the king is married and the church will not allow a divorce. Silence, Sir Thomas. She comes hither. Anne has a radiance that I fear may be beyond the bounds of marital obligation. Aye, she is fucking gorgeous. I'll give you <laughs> but to matters constitutional. <laughs> the Pope is the head of the church and he will not allow you a divorce so you can simply have it off with Anne Boleyn. You idiot! I shall have off his your head when I chop it off and put it on a spike. Uh... Silence, Sir Thomas. I am not japing around this time. Oh, it's very difficult to tell with you. <laughs> I shall create a new church, the Church of England. Your Majesty, I implore you to stop. Assess the damage, take small steps in the right direction. Hmm, <laughs> that three-pronged plan is most interesting. It is, isn't it? It can be applied to any situation. That's the good thing about it. But the king ignored this advice of his much wiser friend. He made himself head of the church and married Anne Boleyn. Thomas, why wilt thou not accept me as head of the church? I do not think it is a forward solution. <laughs> Put down that bloody loot! I know, I'm just tuning it up. The chillax. Why do you defy me? I do not think His Majesty is thinking with his royal head, but rather with his regal... Thomas. ...cock. <laughs> Thomas! And you're not the head of the church. Thomas! You've been a dear and trusted friend, but I will not stand for this treason! I have a message from the Pope. Oh, lay it upon my table. Oh, Christ. Right, um, what's, 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 what's my next line? Where's he gone? Um, you, you are not the head of the church. Thomas, you've been a dear and trusted friend, but I will not stand for this treason! Shit. I have right. a message from the Pope. Lay it upon my table. <laughs> um... You're not the head of the church. Thomas, you've been a dear and trusted friend, but I will not stand for this treason! I have a message from the Pope. Lay it upon my table. That's the last one. Right, we're stuck in a loop. Um, uh, um, um, uh, your, your Majesty, we, we spoke of this matter. At great length. Where did we have such a conversation? I cannot recall. Why? Uh, 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 at Hampton Court in the car park. No, the gift shop. No, the, 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 the maid. Thomas! <laughs> Stop jabbering! Oh, sorry, sorry. I see you are thinking of asking me not to condemn you to death. Cheers. Please don't condemn me to death! Silence! I condemn you to death! Oh, I'll leave that there. <laughs> right, shall I just go to the Tower of London? Yes, that's okay. Nice. Good morrow, Your Majesty. I'll just put my hat on. Yeah. <laughs> Take him to the tower! Unhand me! I'm Roger Moore! Oh shit, I've done it again! <laughs>